Hey YouTube, uh, I'm going to talk about the Jesse Smollett casket theory. Um, this is a theory I came up with after hearing all the information, after watching tons and tons of YouTube videos. My Jesse Smollett casket theory refers to the show Empire and the last season where Andre was getting rushed to the hospital. Andre Lyons was one of the characters. Um, Jamal Lyons' brother in the show. Okay, so it was alluding to the fact that someone was in a casket throughout the whole season. And um, they're coming back in March um, in terms of the, the, the continuation of that storyline. But I think there's something that sparked, and I'm talking about things before Jesse Smollett actually did what he did. Um, or allegedly did what he did. Um, the the my theory is is that you have the show being a guy, the the runner and the the owner of the well, not the owner. I would say the the lead person on the show is Lee Daniels, and Lee Daniels created a a, a such a, a maybe a hostile environment possibly. If my theory is correct, is that. Jesse Smollett found out for some reason that he would get written off the show. That was the initial reports that he thought he was getting written off the show. But I think it's more, more than that. Um, as we found out, um, the Chicago PD did their investigations and he's charged with a felony and he could face three years in prison. And the reason they said was because he wanted more money from the show okay Taraji P Henson and Terrence Howard make hundred and seventy five thousand per episode I was shocked to find out that Jesse Smollett one of the main key factors on the show he made twenty thousand per episode which is still a lot of money but after five years I would have thought he would have made at least seventy five to eighty thousand an episode um, that's what I thought because he was one of the main stars but lo and behold, he only makes 20,000 an uh, episode. Um, the catalyst for him to bring all of this attention to himself was based off of money, not being an activist, which is very sad. Um, but I think that a bug was put in his ear and it could have been by, by Lee Daniels. Let's not forget Lee Daniels is the one that did not pay Damon Dash that basically gave him $2 million for his, his movie Precious, and he dodged them all through the years, knowing that he could have paid this man back. Then Monique, he, he mentioned that she was blackballed in Hollywood, which he is the main person that blackballed her, in my opinion. All right, so keep that in mind, that, that Lee Daniels is not the most honorable person, the most honest person. All right, so with that in mind, I believe that he put Jesse in a, a bad situation. I don't know if it was anything further that, that he wanted something from Jesse. I don't know, but having this open casket storyline is basically, to me, like dangling a carrot where you could manipulate someone. Like, I, I think that he pulled that as... A dangling carrot over Jesse Smollett's head, he left Jesse uh, wondering if he would still be working, if he would still have a job. And then there was no way of finding that out because the the casket scene and everything was still in the air. It still was just alluded to on the show. So even if he wanted to scare Jesse, he could tell him that he could be out of a job maybe if he didn't do something or maybe if he didn't act a certain way or 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 whatever but i think that having that dangling carrot a whole season going by and you not knowing that you would still be on the show that's a powerful tool that could have been used by lee daniels to hold over jesse head and jesse feeling like he's not being paid enough anyway decided to stage this um, with all the information that's came out they still haven't linked it to 
to Lee Daniels, so I can only allege that Lee Daniels might have had something to do with it. I don't know for sure, um, but I think that Jesse got nervous and Jesse came up with a plot to basically put himself in a, a harmful situation. He would get sympathy and he thought he could use that as a bargaining chip to Fox to get his income raised. But I think he was pushed more into it, not because he thought he was getting fired right away. It was just that there was an opening for someone to be in that casket and that easily could have been Jamal Lyons or Jesse Smollett. Um, the way that it played out, now that you see how all the proceedings has gone so far and all the evidence they have against Jesse, it seems like you could actually place him in the casket and totally write him off the show easily because there was an opening. There was already an opening for someone to be gone and maybe the show initially has someone else in mind it could have been andre it could have been hakeem it could have been a small or minor character but i i also look at the storyline plot as reinforcement that jesse was scared that he was going to get fired because he was something was put in his ear that he might be the one in the casket in terms of what the show came up with but when you look at uh, the other plot twist was they had the fourth son. There's a fourth son that came to destroy uh, Terrence Howard and he was more entertaining because he was new and his storyline was more gripping. He had a storyline of revenge and power and he actually seemed more closely related to Terrence Howard in terms of him being the son of Lucius Lyons that was hidden that was a secret son that basically had all this vengeance with with lucius that he wanted to destroy Lu lucius and empire in total i think that kind of scared him too because he was like the new kid in town and if somebody put something in jesse's mind that he could be gone i possibly lee daniels said that to him then you bring in a fourth son and the fourth son is threatening to Jamal Lyons because with a fourth son causing all this damage, it's easy to see that Jesse could have gotten jealous of the fact that they were actually adding another son. So it kind of threatens his position on the show and the importance of his storyline to the show. So along with the reports that Jesse was taking ecstasy or doing any other further drugs, um, could be a factor as building up all this paranoia. So, you know, as far as the reports, I think for the money, he did it for the money, but I also think he was kicked off by being threatened uh, about his job position. And maybe the staff didn't threaten him. So when they made a statement, said they had no intentions of firing Jesse Smollett, I believe that he ended up getting uh, another conversation that made him believe highly that he was going to be replaced even if it wasn't true it, it prompted him to do a lot of uh antics relating to the show and now the show's about to open so it sounds like a publicity stunt but if lee daniels was smart i hope he didn't have anything to do with this um, in, uh, directly in terms of the brothers and the, the the actual whole hoax to begin with, the hate crime. But I just think it was done behind the scenes. So, you know, I'm a little long-winded. I'm laying down. You know, I just want to add my two cents in because this story has been obsessing with... I've been obsessing with this story since it first came out. And um, I just couldn't just sit here and not speak, but I've had enough time to hear other people's thoughts of it, but I don't think I've seen a video or heard anything where they actually link the storylines because it sounds like Lee Daniels wrote this whole storyline that happened with Jesse, and it don't seem like Jesse was that type of person. He was an activist. He was... Um, he seemed like an upstanding individual unless he's mentally crazy 
unless he's a sociopath or someone that doesn't, or maybe he's a narcissist. There's a lot of theories that he could be uh, something that drove him to it, but I believe he was scared shitless that he was going to lose his job. And I believe it was more so that it wasn't a whole staff thing where they say you're going to be fired. I believe that Lee Daniels allegedly put that in his ear or someone put that in his ear and the storyline played out in a way to make Jesse paranoid. Um, they're, they're not revealing who's in the casket. Um, the fourth son that came to destroy Lucius Lion in the storyline, that gave Jesse a push to say, hey, they might fire me because I'm basically my storyline is not as strong and they ended up leaving an opening for someone to be in the casket that has still not been revealed yet. And once once he got that in his mind, he decided to come up with an actual plot to get himself more attention, more fame, and he could use that as a bargaining chip for the show Empire to raise his salary. Um, I totally don't believe that it's not all about the salary, but I believe that he was, he was basically coerced by just threatening his position on the show. Being the writer that Lee Daniel is, he could write and say, this is what we're going to do. He can he could write less for you. He could write more for you. But if he makes you believe that you don't have a position in the future at the job, it's, uh, you don't know what someone is willing to do to keep their position. Um, it doesn't make too much sense just off the I want more money tip, because if you think about it, Empire has been around for five years now. And if Jesse wanted more money, he should have been got it by now. If he's only making 20000 per episode after five years and the show been number one on Wednesday nights for five years, it makes no sense why he shouldn't get paid more money. But for him to use all the, the, the political, the, the, uh, the, the black and the gay component to piss people off, um, being that people are feeling and finding out that this is all a hoax and a lie, it it just doesn't serve him well, and it doesn't seem like he's the type of person to do that still. And if he did do it fully and completely all on his own, then I believe he was pushed off the ledge mentally by allegedly Lee Daniels, allegedly, or someone else at the studio because the show wrote convenient ways to write someone off the show. And if that someone did not comply or act to their demands or whoever put something in his ear, then it was easy to just insert Jamal Lyons as the person in the casket, write him off the show. You still have three brothers then because they added a fourth brother on the show that's causing a lot of controversy. And honestly has the best storyline right now with all the brothers. So I think that Jesse was pushed and coerced and with just the dangling of the carrot. You will be off the show if you don't do A, B, and C. And I think that he was fed up with being treated like maybe, maybe a puppet. And he decided to do something that would get him attention and it got him all the attention for the wrong reasons and he might not even care about it at this point but I hope I believe it's going to come out about him being coerced into the uh, doing something like this or feeling like he had to do something like this because maybe his job was threatened already maybe last year his job was threatened so he could have been paranoid the whole year and once he found out about the casket and the fourth brother he probably felt like oh they might get rid of me they might do something with my role and he decided to flip and go through this ex uh, this extreme hoax which is not right because he had everybody in the world believe in him and now they act like he killed someone now they act like he's OJ Simpson I mean, at this point, he's famous for the fact that he lied and he's famous as if he killed someone 
and they're on a witch hunt because now they're mad because people's feelings are hurt. They believed in them. I believed in them as well. I was, I, I believe that this did happen to him. I felt bad for him. I didn't feel like he deserved getting beat up for being who he is. And now he's a liar. Everything is in question. You know, I worry about his family, his sister, Journey Smollett, because, you know, I just feel like she was initially the biggest star in the Smollett family, but he kind of surpassed her with this show, but now he's, he's turned into someone that people will hate for a very long time. Um, I just, I just hope that when we get more information, I still believe other people are involved with this, this whole scheme, because it's just written like a, like a bad soap opera. And you let me know what you think. This is Darrell at Scare of the Light book. Um, you can subscribe to my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the bottom. Um, just let me know what you think about this topic. I wrote a book called Scare the Light, the dream memoirs of Russell Banks that's available in all formats. Um, you let me know. I'll talk to you later. Peace.